Hello, good chest to everybody. This is again uh, Doc Bernie. Today is our fourth day on our five uh, chest puzzles a day. So this is puzzle number 16. So as you can see, uh, it's white to play and win. Black has uh, two pawns, two rooks, sorry, and uh, white has one rook, bishop, and a knight. So pause the video for five seconds and uh, we will solve it afterwards. Okay, so in solving a chess puzzle, we need to consider and understand the position. So a probable uh, threat by the white here is this uh, diagonal of the white uh, bishop on the king that is uh, one of the key uh, factor for us to solve the puzzle okay the black king has uh, no escape square it is protected by the white king okay so the best move here is uh, rook f7 okay giving uh, a way for the bishop the best move for black here is uh, rook h takes f7 Okay, so what's the next move for white? Okay, you're correct. Knight e7. Blocking the attack of the rook on the b7, on the bishop b7, and uh, discovery check. Of course, there's no other move for black, but rook f3. The next move for white is knight c8. Okay, for example, white would took the, the knight and of course it's checkmate. So the best for the black is to tap the bishop because that is the key piece for the white. And of course, white would move his bishop to the best square. The best square is bishop e4. Ah, no, sorry. Not bishop uh, d5, it's uh, bishop okay. bishop e4, okay? So, of course, black rook would harass the bishop and next move for white is knight d6, protecting the bishop. And, of course, what if black rook would take the bishop? So, knight would take it and this rook is guarding two squares uh, this one and this one he, he moves this way then it's checkmate if he moves that way then it's knight g3 checkmate all okay. right so what would be the best for black So, of course, the rook will not, will not take the bishop. He will just uh, give a waiting move. Rook f7. What if the knight would take the rook? Then it's stalemate because the move cannot move. The pawns cannot move and the king has no escape square. So the best move for white is to take on the bishop check, to take it and same position as I showed you a while ago. Okay? So the rook is paralyzed, protecting these two squares. Okay? There's another move for uh, black. So he need to choose, so he chose rook a3. And of course, my F2 checkmate. Alright, I hope you learned something there. 
It's uh, puzzle number 16 and let's move to puzzle number 17. Okay. Okay, so this is puzzle number 17. Uh, it's white to play and win. So as you can see, white has uh, two knights, a rook, and a pawn, and black has only two rooks. So what is the best move for white to win? Okay, pause the video for five seconds and let's solve it again. Okay, the best move for uh, white here is uh, knight f5. The threat is uh, the knight's going to knight h6. That's the uh, best square. Not in here because it would block the rook. And also the possible move with the rook in g5. So knight f5. There is no other move for black. Because it would take this pawn. It's this cover check. And the rook would be taken. Okay. So the best move for black is to six the knight on the uh, rook so first white must give a check knight h6 then uh, first uh, other square king h8 and wow rook g5 very powerful move he did not took the rook on e4 goes to g5 okay so what is the best move for black? If you took on this pawn, of course, it's checkmate. Okay, and if he moves the other way, then... Yeah. Checkmate. Okay. So the only thing that black would do is to give a check on the king. Check. King would move to h4. Again, check. King to h5. And what's next? He's going for. There's no other choice but to give the rook, rook e5. What's the best move for? White. Of course, to on the rook. Rook f6. No, there's another the way. Let's checkmate. It's dead. Okay, so that's puzzle number 17. Let's go to puzzle number f3. No other square for the white king, it's checkmate. So let's go to puzzle number 19. So this is uh, puzzle number 19. Uh, it is an easy puzzle. Post the video again for 5 seconds. Okay, so the answer of the puzzle is Bishop takes f7. If You've seen bishop on c4 or bishop in d3. Always expect a sacrifice. These two squares are always the bishop are almost always sacrificed in these two square in order to gain an extra tempo, and uh, the combination would be done due to this sacrifice this bishop so bishop takes f7 of course king would take it or else he would lose again a rook and what's the next move it's knight e6 so the king is trapped uh, no the queen so what if the king took took the knight then it's queen d5 check king f6 and what's the final move queen f5 checkmate there is no other escape square for the black king okay so that's puzzle number 19 let's go to the last puzzle puzzle number 20 so this is a uh, puzzle number 20 our last puzzle on our 40 it's a uh, white to play and win find the best play for white so obviously we need to uh, sorry we need to push these two pawns who of these two pawns will uh, go to the finish line okay so pause the video for five seconds and uh, we will solve it
Okay, let's solve the puzzle. The best move here for white is b6. And of course, the best move for black is rook c5 so that it would have a tempo. Tap for this pawn, check, and it will go here and protect the queening square. Okay? But there is the move bishop e5 check and of course king would go to f7 going on the two queening square okay and next move for white is b7 wow giving away this bishop or this pawn so black black's best move is to Take this pawn, checks for it to go in here to attack the pawn, but white has a good move. Good move? What is that good move? Bishop c3, giving away again the bishop. Of course, rook would take on c3, and the final move, king b2, protecting. The only square that Black Rook wants to go in order to attack the Queening Pawn. Okay, a very simple but very effective technique that uh, we can use when uh, we saw it in actual game. Thank you very much for uh, watching. And, uh, if you like the video, kindly hit like and uh, subscribe. Have a good one.